the game to see the boxing voice. Rob with the boxer voice here with tonight's main event winner on Showbox, Antoine Douglas. Um, how are you feeling off that uh, spectacular third round knockout tonight, man? I feel great, man. Uh, talked it over with my team. Like you said, you know, we wanted to, we wanted to go in there and box them and pick them apart, and it came out beautifully in the third round. Yeah. And you, you set it up with a beautiful jab, going off the going off the top, setting up your shots. And this was a dangerous opponent. So was that the game plan, kind of set, kind of blind him with the jab? That's, that was that was the game plan. You know, even since training camp, and we noticed we picked up on. You know, his defense was tight, but it was only tight in the middle. So we wanted to touch the jab to have him thinking that the jab was only coming and sneak around the corner. So I started sneaking around with the right, landing numbers, and it took him out in the third round. All right. And and you heard him on a numerous occasions early. So when did you first notice that he was hurt, and what was going through your mind um, setting up the knockout? Well, it was when I. I first landed the right hand, I noticed how, you know, how, uh, how, how solid it landed, so I threw numbers on it. And then I seen him falling and stumble on me, so I kept, you know, just throwing more of it. And then he went out. Yeah, you put, kind of put everybody on notice with that, with that uh, impressive win. We know this was kind of a step-up fight. This guy was no pushover. So uh, what, what kind of statement do you think you made in your weight class and uh, pretty much t telling everybody, hey, I'm here and I ain't going nowhere? I mean, exactly that. I'm here, I ain't going nowhere, and I'm only moving forward. All right, you know, you really didn't take any punches, nothing. So, I mean, how soon do you want to get back in the ring? Uh, we'll talk it over my team and, you know, figure it out, see what the plan is, and we keep it moving from there. I got to ask, man, maybe make it a little juicy, man. Is there anybody out there that's enticing as far as names that you would want to call out that you think you look good? I'm not much a fan of calling people out, but, you know, like I said, talk it over my team. We want to continue to do it successfully. That's, you know, the, for the most part, we want to continue to be able to do it successfully. There so, we, so mostly we just plan for it and, you know, study, you know. All right, everybody knows about your, uh, you know, your tough story, you know, and you, how you overcame a lot. Um, so, uh, you know, we're going through this, um, what, what do you think this puts you as far as, like, uh, in life? I mean, what's the recipe for success so far, um, seeing that it's been working for me since you, you had to overcome so much of your life outside of boxing and inside of boxing? I mean, see, my life generated so much more than boxing could do for me. You know, boxing is just boxing now because my life has already generated so much energy and passion towards what I've already been through. So I can just, you know, put that strength into my boxing. And that's why, you know, I'm so, I work so hard and my work ethic is so great within boxing. That's why I'm able to do it so well. Okay. Uh, again, again, main event, showtime, spectacular win. Um, is there anything you want to get off your chest to the boxing heads uh, seeing and watching that uh, want to know what's on your mind, uh, you know, now that you got all that stress out of your mind, you can celebrate? I mean, I just, that's just about it. Ready to uh, spend some time with family, hang out a little bit, and rest up. All right. Well, congratulations on the win. Spectacular. Uh, definitely catching up. But, uh, yeah, catch up. Rod signing out. Boxing Voice. Thanks.